All right, long time, no see. Today, we're back again, and we're here to celebrate a culmination of the most successful season in Clippers franchise history. You know, I wish that I would be celebrating an NBA championship with this episode, but beggars can't be choosers, and I'm satisfied with uh, the result. Fine guy goes down, we make it to our first Western Conference Finals ever. That's something to be proud about. But, still more work to do. In honor of the fun guy. I'm a fun guy. I got my Kawhi super tight t-shirt. I've got my Kawhi Leonard socks. And today, we're gonna be making a fun guy pasta. We've got our Alfredo truffle sauce. Alfredo truffle sauce. And our country fresh sliced mushrooms. So let's get it. Oh yeah, we got our Monte Polino made in Italy fettuccine organic egg pasta nests. They're basically like little nests of pasta. They're pretty good though. Let's start boiling. All right, we're gonna need a kind of big pot to boil our pasta in. The so water, stove, a little bit of salt, spoon. At the same time, why don't we throw on some chicken breast? I'm really just winging it right now. So now, we wait for the chicken to defrost, and we're gonna wait for the water to boil. It's almost done boiling. Chicken's almost done defrosting. Now that it's boiling, I'm gonna put the nests in. Slowly, one by one. I think I should do like seven nests. Six, seven. Screw right, let's do eight. I'm also gonna toss in the rest of these nest crumbs. That was the waiting game. We're gonna let the chicken cook on a low heat so that it cooks evenly, and we can chop it up, put it in the pasta later. Wow, it's almost done already. It's only been like three minutes. This unseasoned chicken looks very unsettling, and I'm not the kind to eat unseasoned chicken, but since it's going in the pasta, that's how it's gonna be. We're ready to drain. Now to drain. Mmm, drained. Now time to toss in our Alfredo truffle sauce. So we're gonna mix that, let it simmer. Oh yeah, that's really truffly, all right. Gonna put a dash of our pesto in the pasta and some for the chicken. Mushrooms next. Yeah, this is a lot of mushroom, but that's all right. That's how we like it, right? Oh crap. This is a lot of mushroom. Holy damn. To cut the chicken, mix it in with the pasta. All right, let's mix it in. Now let's mix it up. Woo, parsley. Give it some color. Get that pop in there. Man, this smells good. All right, let's transfer it to the final bowl. It's dark now. Transfer it. Ooh, this seems safe. We did it. A little bit more parsley for good measure. And voila. Let us try a bowl. Some parmesan first. Let's try it straight up. That is fungi pasta. Fun guy pasta. It's pretty good. That that truffle flavor really strong. Like that is probably the most prominent flavor resonating from this dish. I regret not seasoning the chicken even mixed in. It still tastes like bland chicken. Rookie mistake by my part, but it's still good nonetheless. Has a nice light hint of pesto. The mushrooms are nice and soft after simmering with the pasta. That would be like a twenty dollar bowl from a restaurant because like truffle is expensive. Mm, delicious. Well, as your resident Clippers super fan, I hope you can join me in wishing our poverty, our poverty team to have a bright and successful future, including Paul George, Kawhi Leonard, Terrence Mann. I just want one NBA championship and I can die in peace. This is gonna be my lunch for the rest of the week. So this has been an episode of Vanderpuss and I'll see you next time.